Do you want to get access to preview features in Microsoft Teams for all the rest of your organization? I'm the Productivity Coach, and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Without the Productivity Coach, and I work at Microsoft as a modern work customer success manager. Now, before we get into today's content, if you've seen any of my videos previously, you'll have noticed that we've changed things a little bit. Uh, we've got a nice short snappy intro. The one that we had previously was a little bit long. And along with that, I've got a new publishing schedule. So I'm going to try and be more uh, regular with the content so we know when it's coming. So I'm going to be publishing tips on Tuesdays. So that's going to be uh, the same kind of YouTube videos that we've got now. Uh, and that's going to be published each week on a Tuesday to YouTube and LinkedIn. But new content uh, or new type of content I'll be doing is a lunch and learn live so that's going to be Fridays at 12 30 on YouTube um, and it's going to be starting next Friday that's the 15th of January and you can go to that by going to youtube.com forward slash productivity coach so we've got a new URL there as well so if you're working in adoption and change or IT support, you may already be on uh, a preview version of Microsoft Office so that you can get new features in the Office client before the rest of your organization. But that wasn't available for Microsoft Teams. Now, the great news is that is available now. And it's really useful for you to be able to kind of get a preview of new features that are coming so you can prepare any messaging, you can prepare training for support staff themselves so that when the new features arrive, they're able to support that. So let's look at how we can set that up. So we do need uh, an admin to set up the uh, the groups of people who are going to be in those preview features. So if you go to office.com as an admin, you then need to go into the admin panel and then you need to go to the Teams Admin Center. Now, you may have noticed uh, that part of this setting was available uh, in December but it didn't actually seem to make any difference in the Teams client. And that was because we were waiting for some work to be done in the desktop client itself, but it's all done now. So, um, so everything is ready to go. So if I go to Teams on my menu here and go to update policies, uh, this is a new option here. Uh, and here you can set a, a policy for who will get the preview features applied uh, just in the same way as you do with meeting policies, app policies, etc. So all you'd need to do is click add and we can say preview users. And there's just one flag here, which is to show preview features. And that's either on or off. So I'm going to discard that because I've already got one set up here. So for my global, everybody has got preview features off. And then I've made a group here called the advanced group. And for them, show preview features is on. So if I wanted to add someone into the advanced group, I just tick that, uh, click manage users. This is exactly the same way as we do for app policies, uh, for meeting policies, etc. And let's say I'm going to add Miriam in. So there she is. Search for Miriam, click add, and I can now apply that to her. Now, in the same way as any other type of policy, it may take a little while before that takes effect for the user. So they may have to be patient um, and wait for that. But once it has, um, they will get a new option in their Teams client. They might need to quit it and go back in uh, if they don't see it uh, after a little while. But if they go up to their profile icon here and then they go down to the About option, then they will have a new option at the bottom there which says Public Preview. So if they click that, it gives them a warning. Obviously, these are preview features. They're not production features. Um, so they have got the ability to turn public preview on or off. Um, so if a public preview feature does cause them some problems, then please report it uh, and, uh, and let us know so we can fix it. Um, we would hope that it wouldn't by the time it gets to public preview, but uh, they can switch off public preview as well. So I'm going to switch to public preview. And what that's going to do is actually restart my client. Now, if you wanted to know uh, what is going to be coming in the public preview, there is a um, there is already an existing page uh, on docs.microsoft.com, which are the release notes for Office current channel preview. And if you scroll down here, um, you can see what comes in when it comes into the preview. So here we've got some in January for other uh, Office software. But if I just scroll down a touch to uh, December, then we can see here there are a set of Teams updates that have gone into the public preview. So you can see what's landing there by referencing that web page as well. 
So hopefully that's something that's really useful uh, for you. It's something that I hear a lot of customers asking for in terms of how can they get preview access to features for the main population of their users. So it'll really help you uh, prepare your users for that change so they can make the most of Microsoft Teams. So thank you for watching. Just a reminder, uh, content schedule is tips on Tuesdays uh, on YouTube and LinkedIn. And from the 15th of January, you're going to be doing a lunch and learn at 12.30 which is going to be hosted on YouTube. So hopefully you found this useful. Please share it with other people if you think they'll find it useful. And I will see you again on another video.